Clive here at Southern Manufacturing 2024. We're stood in front of the MX420 fully fledged five axis machine. Tell me about it. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, big brother to the MX330, uh, full, fully automated multi-pallet machine. Uh, we have 10 pallets behind me, uh, 90 tool changer, and it's fully automated as all my sorts have been for the last 30 years. You said it's uh, not an upgrade, but the step up from a 330. Yeah. What are the differences between the machines? Uh, it gives you a slightly bigger working envelope. So the MX330 is a 330 working diameter, and this gives you up to 420. So for our customers where they just want a little bit more scope, but they still want to keep 10 pallets, it gives them that nice step up. Because you can also do three axis work, five axis work, and then tombstone work as well. So yeah. how good is that for your customers? Yeah, it gives a lot of flexibility. So we've got, behind us, we've got some nice tombstones on show that we can multi-load parts as well. Um, we can we can have up to four programs per pallet, so you don't even have to do the same job on that tombstone. You can have okay. four individual jobs on that tombstone. So the flexibility is as far as we want it to go. 100%, and if you haven't got the bulk of uh, a part to be running on, you can try, you can kind of swap and choose what you're making on the machine. So talk to me about the software. How easy is it to control the machine and then the pallet changer together? Yeah, so uh, Matt Sora put their own uh, front onto all the tool management and pallet management for these machines. Uh, they make it very user-friendly, very easy to operate. And uh, again, give a lot of flexibility. So if, for example, you're short on pause for one day, you can easily press a, a single button and that pallet will then prioritize through the system to give you a bigger run of them parts during the day. Are you seeing people wanting these machines more and more? Oh yeah, these are very popular. The MX330 was a very popular machine and that little bit of extra work size has really engaged people that they're, they're really enjoying this machine as well. RIM software, what is that? Uh, so the RIM software has been uh, written in the UK. What this allows is uh, customers to have a remote ability from offices to send and receive programs out of the machine to see the uptime on the machine. So as you can see behind me, it's showing the current uptime of the machine. Um, you can manage pallets, tooling, schedule the machine, see when the machine's gonna finish its pallet run so you can arrange people to come in and change over the pallets ready to run more. Uh, it gives customers a lot of flexibility without having to be at the machine to see what's going on. So flexibility wise, you talked about sending and receiving files. Could that be maybe you've done a project for a customer and there's just a couple of meals out on a little bit of diameter. They can send over maybe new drawings and new code. Uh, new, new code, yeah, new code for the machine to... Uh... And it's just easy to do it on, on this yeah. software? Yeah. yeah, we can do reports. So uh, if the machines run all weekend, uh, and you have tools that have expired on tool life or broken, uh, it can run a little report so you can hand that to an operator and say, these are all the tools you need to change. So yeah, the, the, the amount of um, assistance it can give to operating the machine and getting the full uh, working out of it is, is very good. Talking about operating the machine, say if I've got a different brand of machines in my yeah. machine shop, and I've seen this with Solar and I know it's gonna make me money, but I need to lose money um, spending time learning how to program it, especially because it's five axis, and then on top of that, you've got a pallet changer. So how easy is it to get along with? So uh, in general, the machines are installed in a week, and then someone like me and Apps Engineer will follow up for another week. Uh, a day setting the machine up, and then we do three to four days training and get the operators up to speed on using the machine. And as I've said, due to how user-friendly it is, people pick it up very quick. 